Hello aspiring secondary English majors. I hope you find this uh, video helpful. Thank you for the opportunity uh, to share um, my experience. I'll be sharing four aspects of this uh, major. The blessings, the challenges, um, some tips and why I chose this program. Um, I hope you find it helpful as it helped me reflect on myself as well. First of all, my name is Sidi, as you know. Um, I'm a secondary English major student. I, I'm a sophomore. I chose this course because I wanted to prepare and equip myself to be a secondary English teacher. Uh, I'm passionate about impacting the lives of the youth, specifically from grades 6 to 12, middle school to high school. Um, I think that's where the Lord has called me um, to some extent. I, my aim was to improve my writing skills, my reading comprehension, to be more keen to details and using my claims with stronger evidences from not only lit the literary piece, but understanding um, how I apply literary concepts into a paper and a discussion-based presentation. The blessings of this class. First of all, the class is smaller in size, which means you get to know your classmates more and bond with um, people you don't really talk to. Uh, you get to work with everybody, which is excellent. Um, group works are less. Um, time is yours in, in a sense that you focus more on read, essay writing, self-reading, self-discovery, but there's still group works, which is good. It will help you uh, work well and collaborate uh, well with others. Third, it taught me how to think critically by understanding the concepts of literature and applying them um, to papers, to essay discussions, to um, theater plays, and uh, literary analysis, which you will do uh, verbally, a literary colloquium. Interesting. I really like that. And this is the assessments um, tested my understanding of not only the material but how I apply those literary concepts um, into essays, into group papers, and um, the quizzes made me read closer, uh, be more keen to details, to read closely, responsively, and to interact with the text. Um, it's not how much you know and can memorize the textbook, but it's how you apply those concepts um, and test your understanding of the material. Um, it helped me think abstractly rather than just thinking concrete and saying this is the answer, this is from the book. It helped me think about themes, motifs, life, real life situations that are very applicable to our life. Uh, literature wasn't just simply about find what is a story and the main theme, what's the plot of the story, but what can we draw based on um, historical backgrounds, literary backgrounds, and all kinds of backgrounds that you will be studying, which is amazing. It helped me learn and stretch my worldview in a, in a historical manner. Uh, I learned how to be keen to details, which is important. I realized as a future teacher, I do not know uh, how important it is to be keen to details. I, I, I'm a more of a big picture guy, but this class helped me be more keen to details, specific instances in the story, specific evidences that are important. Um, so be keen to details. Uh, that, was, that was very helpful. Last one, I learned how to communicate and ex express myself in a, and develop my speaking and communication skills through theater, through in-class activities that really help you get out of your comfort zone. It's, an, it's a very, very um, interactive and excellent in terms of discussion. Some challenges I went through. Uh, well, you're, um, you're gonna, you are going to have to read large quantities of pages, which was difficult for me. And However, um, you'll learn how to develop a sense of um, reading because you enjoy it. And, we, we, we have Greek mythology, Egyptian mythology, all kinds of mythology which you'll be um, tackling, which was, which was challenging for me um, in terms of reading that much books um, and page, pen pages. Well, the expectation is, uh, I thought it was just a discussion-based class, but where in fact, it, in order to be effective, you need to know the material too, um, in, in order to contribute to discussion. If you don't read during recitation, you'll be clueless. And that's also a test of your uh, understanding and assessment. If you really understood what you read, if you can share it to the class and when you're asked to you recite. So be keen, being keen to details was important, as I said. Um, expectation is just writing papers, really. Um, that's not, the, but the reality is you need to understand the, the, the story, the concepts in order to write a paper effectively and make a successful um, literary analysis and classroom discussion. Well, Having said all that, that brings me to the, my last point about tips uh, for you aspiring um, secondary uh, English majors who wish to apply this program. I hope that you find this helpful by 
um, in the future in order to succeed. Number one, please break down your reading. Make a reading plan. Um, trust me, 172 pages um, in one night is impossible to read. Trust me. I tried that. didn't work. Um, I, I found out that helping yourself to break down your readings, uh, when you have time, read, read a couple pages. Read 10 pages. It will help you. And review your class notes before quizzes and discussions. Um, it's very important so that you have a re review. Uh, manage your time and read ahead um, is, a, is another tip I'd have for you um, so that your mind won't be overwhelmed. If you don't understand, ask your classmates. Um, discuss with them till you understand. This was a very helpful tip for me. Um, interact with the text and annotate. So interact with your classmates and annotate the text. Most importantly, uh, be open to feedback in order to improve your reading and writing skills. So that's, that's what I have to say. I hope you uh, find this video helpful. Uh, God bless you all.